Foxborough junior Nick Coe says he has seen the movie The Blind Side. And while he says it does remind him quite a bit of his own life, football is probably Nick's second best sport right now. Human beings this big are not supposed to be this fast and agile, too. But ask anyone who's wrestled six foot five inch, 265 pound Nick Coe, and they'll tell you it's almost not fair. He's sort of looked at as a, a gentle giant. Uh, in and out of the classroom, uh, but when he comes into the wrestling room, uh, he, he knows when to hit the switch and to uh, turn it up. Co needs a, a takedown. Oh, he goes for the He's gonna get it. In early April, Nick won a national championship in the heavyweight division of the prestigious Flow Nationals at Indiana University in Pennsylvania. He'll enter his senior year as one of the top ranked wrestlers in the United States. Same on real right now. It's still do. Coe is also a standout football player for the Blue Comets. As a defensive end, he's already drawn interest from Florida State, Clemson, and North Carolina, among others. I like football better because this is like how to find everything, and wrestling's really competitive and hard. <laughs> <laughs> But to focus just on Nick Coe, the athlete, would be to ignore the most important part of his story. He grew up in Richmond, Virginia, and calls that period of his life complicated. He says he and his mother and two younger siblings moved around a lot before arriving in Asheboro in 2009. A short time later, he met and became good friends with fellow wrestler and state champion Sawyer Davidson. It's the closest and most important friendship he's ever had. He's a big goofball, and I, I just kind of keep him in line. Uh, I'll joke with him all the time. Soon, Nick became equally close with Sawyer's father, former Ashboro wrestler Lee Davidson, along with Lee's wife, Spanish teacher Mandy Davidson, and the family's three girls. These friendships have now evolved to the point where Nick lives with the Davidsons on and off, sort of like current Carolina Panthers offensive lineman Michael Orr, whose life was the subject of the 2010 Sandra Bullock movie, The Blind Side. Were you running with some rough crowds and doing some things that you shouldn't have been doing prior to that? Yeah, when I moved in with the Davidsons, it's like the stage things started changing, it helped me bring my grades up for school and like doing the positive things I could do best. We all love him and um, we love it when he's with us. We go to him and talk and he's always there for us so that's an idea yeah. too. We, we, we kind of talk to him more than we do Sawyer. <laughs> we're there for support and uh, if we can help him in any way we're, we'll do it. That's, uh, he that's has a great family. He has a great family. Um, we've just been like a second family to him to, um, to help him out whenever he needs it. He's just going to be so successful and I've been a part of his life, life and he's been a part of mine and it's just been great. I wouldn't trade it for anything. They've been there for me since I was in the ninth grade and like and I love him. Nick says he plans to choose a college based on football rather than wrestling. And Sawyer says Nick's college choice will definitely influence his. Because even though he's hoping to wrestle in college, he also says he wants to be as close as possible to the man he calls his brother. And if you know of a local high school student who's beating the odds of overcoming adversity or has a unique story, you can nominate them to be our next Athlete of the Week. You can send an email to sports at WXII12.com or reach out to Kenny on social media.